טוב, עכשיו אנחנו לסיום נדבר עם כתב מרוקני שראיין את גל גדות וחטף על זה לא מעט, כולל איומים על חייו ונאצות ומה לא. השיחה הזאת תתקיים באנגלית, ללא תרגום לצערי, אבל תוכלו למצוא אותו, את השיחה הזאת בימים הקרובים עם, עם תרגום בעמוד הפייסבוק שלנו. Good evening, סימו בן בשיר. Good evening, thank you for having me. Correspondent of the Israeli uh, Hala TV in Arabic, but you, you talk to us from LA, Hollywood. Exactly. I'm based in LA and I work for uh, uh, Panet and Hala TV in Israel, but many other media outlets in the Middle East. Let's see, if, uh, first of all, let's see a part of your interview with Gal Gadot. I know that you have a huge fan base, not only in Israel, of course, but the whole Middle East. What's your message to your fans in the region? Uh, that I can't wait for the day that we will all be able to leave, live in true peace. I'm a big believer in that. And, um, you know, and be able to travel from one country to the other to the other, because I think that our cultures are... are similar in so many ways. And, um, and, and I just want to be able to have peace in the Middle East, as much as it sounds like a, a beauty queen message, but th- this is my dream for the Middle East, that th- we will all be able to live in a coexistent and in a flourishing um, environment together. Okay, uh, by the way, be prepared for, uh, not for uh, such a brilliant English like uh, Gal, because she stays a lot in the States. But uh, you, my English is Pinglish, you know, uh, Palestinian English. So, your, so, your English is perfect. So be prepared. But uh, tell me, was there any dilemma uh, be, before you interviewed her? Uh, it's the interview went very well though and I, I tried to ask her a question that it's very different than the other uh, reporters because she uh, we were doing like the jacket interviews so they give like five minutes uh, to every reporters from like international and by regions like the Middle East Europe and I wanted to ask her something like special and uh, I asked her also about not only her message to the Middle East which is her message was perfect and beautiful. And I think one of the best messages from like superstar like Gal Gadot uh, about what's going on in the Middle East. Uh, but also uh, I asked her about what she thinks about the promo on Burj Khalifa in Dubai, which nobody asked her this question because I'm, I'm you know, from the Morocco. So it's a part of the Arab world. And I asked her about this. And it's like, usually I don't like doing Zoom interviews, but uh, I was so happy and honored to have the opportunity to interview her. On, uh, for my media outlet that I work for in, the, in, in Israel. And you were prepared in advance that uh, uh, th- there will be such, uh, such uh, um, I don't know, uh, how, how will you call it, but uh, back, backlash? Yeah, I, I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't prepared for this, but I'm already like, you know, um, uh, used to. I've been in the media for 23, uh, 23 years now, and I know how it works. But what's made like the, the why do the scandal? It's like um, that when she posted the, the, the story about what's going on in Israel and between Israelis and, uh, Israeli and Palestinian people, I reposted the story, uh, her story, and then it went viral and people they were like, oh my God, you're, she was at the army. And I was like, guys, if she was in the army, Israeli army, if she was doing her job like three years ago or two years ago before she, she became Wonder Woman. Right. And it's, it's, it's so stupid because people mix arts and entertainment with politics, which I'm an entertainment reporter and I hate politics and they stay away from it. But, uh, you know, she's, uh, she, she was uh, a part of the army uh, and she has a past in the army. And that's, you know, I have more respect for her because she was doing her job very well when she was also in the army. So I, I respect everybody who's doing their job very well. So, you know, it's, I'm used to. They respond, they included the death threats and so on? Well, you know, some people, they went a little bit far because um, I didn't want to answer people. And I always answer people with the power of silence, which is the best. And I learned it when I was a teenager from Madonna at the time. And people, they were like, 
yeah, you're going to see, and when are you going to come to Morocco, which is very, uh, very weird because I grew up in Morocco uh, and when I was a teenager, and my best friends were Jewish. We have a huge more, uh, like Jewish community in Morocco, and mm -hmm. we are used to this. But now people they mix everything, especially with all the haters online and social media, give like the uh, the chance and the opportunity to a lot of people to insult you and to uh, threat you behind the behind uh, uh, you know a screen with a, a fake name. But thank God, I mean LA, so I don't think here they play with this. So I mean the authorities are very strong here in America. Thank God. And uh, the respond, uh, those response um, somehow made you uh, afraid a little bit, scared of no, the last, future? Um, you know, it's already happened uh, in the, the past with Rabbi Pinto, who is like uh, the, the, the president of the uh, rabbinical court of Morocco. And I interviewed him and I went to the Torah. And even like last week, I was here in, in he was here in LA and I went with him to the Torah lesson. So people now they are used to see uh, a lot of Jewish people and uh, my love to Jewish people. And as Moroccan, I'm different than other Arabs because in, in other countries, some people, they are not used to the Jewish community. We are because in Morocco, uh, I, I have a lot of friends and it's a part of our culture. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like stupid to have this. I don't want to answer and that they are going far and they are calling me all names. But it's a part of the game. You know, when you're an entertainment reporter, you need to be. And for Gal Gadot, please, I can, I can get anything for, for her. She's the best. I love her. You, you, would you consider to be a, also a correspondent for an Israeli, not Arabic, Israeli, let's say, Jewish a TV station or something? Or any media? I'm sending, uh, of course, I'm sending. I'm, try, uh, I'm trying to promote you, you know. Yeah, I'm sending an invitation right now. If you want me to be your correspondent, I'm going to start tomorrow. <laughs> of course, I mean, I'm open and I know how is it the culture there. And I want to visit Israel. I can't wait to be there. I'm waiting for all this COVID, you know, crisis to be done. And um, I'm, I, I want to go to Tel Aviv. Like since I was a teenager, my dream was to go to Tel Aviv. And I have a lot of friends over there. Simo, thank you very much. We're waiting for you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.